Welcome to FastAccounts.io. How to add inventory in Fast Accounts. In this video, we will discuss how to add both stock and non stock products or services in Fast Accounts. Let's start with adding stock products. After logging in, navigate to the products section under the inventory tab. Here you'll find the list of already added products. To add a new product, click on the Add New button and select Stock Product. Enter the product name. The product code will be auto-generated, but you can also input product codes of your choice. Refer to the relevant help video for instructions on how to enable and disable auto-codes. Specify the category of the product sale information, and any additional notes. Enter the opening balance details, including the date, opening stock quantity, and per unit rate for the opening stock. Control accounts for the product are auto-assigned, such as asset, sale, and expense accounts. Set a low stock level. It will indicate on the dashboard that the product has been low in stock. Mention the sale and cost prices of the product for your ease. Optionally, specify sale and purchase discounts in percentage and weight per unit and measurement unit. Mention the applicable tax rate for the product like general sales tax or value added tax and maximum retail price excluding tax or maximum retail price including tax. Tax. Provide bin location, large pack, and small pack size details. You can also select a preferred supplier for the product. It will be mentioned only for information that from which specific supplier you purchase that product. Once all details are entered, click the Save and Close button to save the product. To add the non-stock products or services, Press the Add New button. Here you will select the non-stock products. Mention the details as discussed above. There is no opening quantity, opening rate, stock asset account, low stock level, column because unlike stock products, services have no physical existence. However, to keep a track of number of units, make sure the track quantity box is checked and you can analyze the quantity feature by exploring the stock quantity report. Thank you for watching and we hope this video was helpful.